I want to talk to you about bowing the lead wrist. So I'm going to talk as a right-hander, bowing my left wrist to get the club face really strong at the top, or bowing the wrist on the downswing, flattening the club, shallowing the club. I want to show you how you can make a tremendous mistake in your game and really cause yourself a lot of problems. I've written that you don't want to be 1% too shallow or 1% too steep. Well, most people are too steep that I teach. But good players sometimes get the club trapped behind them. And when you try to take the club up to the top here and then lay the shaft down and throw your wrist, now that can close the club face. But it also can do this. When I lay the club down, it can leave the face really open behind me. And now I'm coming in this way. So we've seen a lot of great players who have the wrist bowed at the top. Of course, Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson are two great examples right now, but there have been a lot of Marlon Palmer and uh, Tom Weisskopf, Tom Watson, a lot of great players, Trevino, that have this shut club face or shut wrist. Now, I lived with a couple of guys in college who went on to be great, great players and remained my friends my whole life. One was Bill Rogers, who won the British Open, who's ranked number one in the world in the early 80s, and uh, Bruce Litsky won many times in the PGA Tour and won the United States Senior Open. So both of those guys, uh, and I played with them a million times, took the club face really shut here at the way back. Now it's not really shut, it's square to the, to the plane, but it, to me it looked like you know they turned that face down. Now Litsky took it inside and sh really shut, and when he got to the top, the rib, his wrist was really bowed, and then he started down, he could take the club a little out. He never hit a hook in his life. He hit all fades, or maybe a slice. So it's interesting that the closed club face at the top does not mean you're going to hook the golf ball. But I think a lot of people think, okay, if I get my left wrist bowed, especially on the downswing, that I'm gonna have a very powerful golf swing. But I've seen a lot of young people come in here that, uh, that I've worked with that have overdone that. And what happens to them is as they take the club uh, up to the top and then lay it down, they lay it down like that and the face is wide open. And the hands are too far away from them coming down. Now they're a little stuck coming in. So that's the problem that I see with the sort of a modern idea that's pretty rampant out there. And it's been for a, a while and you see things kind of go both ways in golf. Tiger Woods for a long time was trying to get the club much more out. He hated getting the club stuck behind him. So, you know, the pendulum swings as I've watched teaching my whole life. But I want to show you a couple of cool things. Now, when I take this golf club away and I take it, which looks like I'm shutting the club face pretty good right here, and I just keep the club a little bit in front of me as I go back and I go up to the top. I'm not doing anything here. I've still got my wrist a little cut. I go up to the top. Now my club face is it looks more toe down. But when I as I start this guy down, you'll see that the club face is really strong here, which a lot of players do. It's very interesting to me in studying swings my whole life, where you saw Trevino take the club out and up and really shut at the top, and where he was able to drop the club down and was really in a great position, almost just dead toe up. And Hogan took it back much flatter, a little longer, had a lot of cut. But when Hogan came down, he got the club almost in the same position. Of course, they hit the same shot. They hit bullet fades uh, and hit the greatest, you know, most controlled fades in the history of the game. So again, let me just run this thing back. As you go up to the top, as the club goes more in this direction, you're definitely not doing this. There's nobody's doing that. That's blowing that face open. That's getting the face open this way. When I take the club like this and take it up, it looks a little more open, but it's in a way, that's in a much stronger position here. And then when I start it down, it's very strong right here. That's close to what Brooks Kepka looks like right there coming down with the face. You do see great players who have the face a little bit open on the downswing, more of a release player. There's still players that do that, but my 
point on this is get in the face, maybe close on the backswing, bowed, and then flattening it can lead to actually an open face on the downswing. That's the point. The bowed wrist, laying it down, the club gets a little facing up toward the sky, and I'm really close to the golf ball here. So now I've really got to do something to hit it, to release it, which is the point of having a closed club face, or let's say a strong club face coming down, is that you don't need too much rotation going through. You need less hand action, and it gives you the feeling that the club is on the ball a lot longer when you strike the golf ball. But you don't have to risk saving on the way down.